Hey everyone, Graham from Paragon Performance here. Today we have an exciting update to our tuning program here. You guys saw we've been doing E85 in these cars, now we can do flex fuel. That's even better because that means you're not limited to running just E85 or having to switch the maps. Now you can fill up on any blend of premium fuel or E85, even including barrel E85 if you want to run the high blend stuff. If you guys missed the video about E85, make sure you go back and watch that first. We're not going to go into a lot of detail today about E85 because we covered it in that video. Today I'm going to focus on showing you guys flex fuel, kind of how that works, what that looks like, and what that means for you guys. The flex fuel kit we're using is from DSX Tuning. These guys have figured out a very clever way to allow flex fuel to work on the C8 Corvette, and we're now an approved vendor, which means we can install and tune this kit for you on the C8 Corvettes. You do have to bring us the car here for installation and tuning, but once we do that, you'll be full flex fuel. So let's jump into the car and we'll show you guys what this looks like. All right, so we're in the car now. We have the flex fuel map flashed on here, and now I have a new parameter that I can see that's called alcohol comp at the engine. So that's the ethanol percentage that the sensor is seeing and letting the tune know where we're at. We're at 8.2% because we just have regular uh, pump gas in here right now, 93 octane with 10% ethanol. So seeing 8.2% makes sense right now. I went ahead and splashed a little bit of E85 in there. I'm very low on fuel, I'm 22 miles left on the tank right now, but I splashed a little bit in there so we can drive it and just make sure that the sensor's reading and everything looks normal. We'll do a quick baseline like that, then we're going to blend some more ethanol in and go up to some different ethanol points in the tune to kind of check things over and make sure everything's perfect with the blending. So let's go ahead and fire it up and start driving and we'll let that mix. All right, we got the car running. We're going to do some driving. Now, this is a returnless fuel system, which means that it's not going to see the ethanol change until I start driving it and use the fuel that's in the line. So we're going to drive it, and we're going to watch it, and we should see that change as we get that fuel burned off that's already in the lines. Ethanol pretty much mixes with the gasoline the moment it's in the tank. It's not like you have to drive around and wait for it to settle and mix. That mix happens immediately. It just takes a little while for it to get to the front. So if you happen to be running a flex fuel tune and you were on pump gas, and you fill up with the 85 and you leave the station and you hammer on it, that first pull, you're probably not gonna have the ethanol up to the front yet. That's okay, the tune's gonna handle it, it's gonna run like pump gas, but you'd notice you don't have your extra power. But after you've driven for a little bit, then your next few pulls, when the ethanol's actually got to the injectors and in the engine, you're gonna feel the difference. So just something to keep in mind with how these cars work. All right, so we got some driving done, and now we see that our alcohol percentage is 32.5, which makes sense. We're pretty low. I put about a gallon in there, so 30% ethanol makes sense for what I expect to see right now. So that's all in there. I'm going to go ahead and make a run, make sure everything checks out, and then we'll start adding some more ethanol to it. All right, we got that first run done. Everything looks fantastic. I can see the flex fuel working. I see the extra timing being added from the ethanol tables. That's basically how this works is it's a pump gas map under the covers with compensations for ethanol. And the ethanol can change the fueling, can change the cranking, change the timing, changes everything it needs to basically be full flex fuel. So what I wanted to make sure at E30 was that everything's working. I see the little bit of extra timing. I see the change in the fuel targets. I see the change in the injection to compensate for the higher ethanol, and it all looks fantastic. This looks exactly like a C7 on flex fuel, which is what we want to see. So let's get some more ethanol in it, and then we'll see what it does. Now, unlike the full E85 tune we did, we don't have to fill it all the way up and get the full blend of ethanol. We're gonna stop part way at some different ethanol break points and go through the tune and make sure everything's good before we fill it all the way up and hit maximum ethanol. So I'm gonna give it another five gallons or so and we'll drive that in, let that get to the front so we see the higher ethanol and then run the car again. <laughs> So 
there we can see the ethanol changing as I drive it's seeing the higher content come to the front so 46 if I drive a little bit more and use some more fuel we should see it come up a bit more there So as you guys saw, the ethanol changes on the fly as we're driving it. That's the beauty of a flex fuel tune is even as you're driving it, if you've just filled up and you're changing fuels, everything is immediately adjusted for you. You don't even have to think about it, don't have to mix or any of that stuff. So we settled in at 63% ethanol there with that fill up, a little bit more than I was going for, but that's fine. We're going to go ahead and give it a run on that, check some more data, and then we'll add some more E85 to it from there. All right, so we tested it at E60 there, made a run. Now we're gonna fill it up the rest of the way, get to the maximum ethanol content that we've got here in our barrel, which is about 77%. We probably won't see all of that because it's missing, mixing with some of the gas that's still in there, but we're gonna go as high as we can and test that as well while we're in here. All right, so here's where we ended up. Our baseline was 452 on straight 93 octane. We put the E30 in there and we did a run and we ended up at 477 horsepower. Now you might think to yourself, that seems like a big jump for just E30, but a little bit of ethanol goes a long way, especially with direct injection. So to us, it's not too surprising to see a jump like that. Then we got to the E62 mark and we ended up at 492. We bumped it up to E72 and we found eight more horsepower there, touching 500. So there you have it. One map that can go from 452 all the way up to 500 just by what fuel you put in it, whether it's straight pump gas, premium fuel, or whether it's full E85 or anything in between, you'll get those different power levels seamlessly and on the fly. So there you guys have it. That's flex fuel for these cars now. An even better way to do E85. If you guys have questions about this, leave them in the comments or send us an email, give us a phone call, let us know. If you guys are interested in doing E85 with flex fuel on your car, call us up and schedule it, get your car here and we can take care of it.